What's up, Chooms? 4 my ninjas 83 here, and if you finish all of your playthroughs of Cyberpunk 2077 and still have that Cyberpunk inch that needs to be scratched, then I have five games that I think will have that exact Cyberpunk fix that you need. If you like the video, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and hit the bell to know when I go live with more videos. And without further ado, let's get straight into the list right now. And number five is Cloudpunk. If you're like me, your favorite part of Cyberpunk 2077 is flying around your car and seeing the beautiful night city landscape. If so, then you will love Cloudpunk, a noir pixel cyberpunk adventure where you play as Rainia on her first night working for the Cloudpunk delivery service in the beautiful cyberpunk metropolis city of Navalius. I honestly thought that was pretty much just going to be the extent of the game, but it actually has a very good story and good gameplay, and the atmosphere is absolutely amazing. But unlike Cyberpunk, you can beat this game in about 9 hours, 15 if you really want to 100% complete everything, and luckily it is available on all consoles. And number 4 is Lootmancer. Lootmancer is a 3D platformer roguelike action game where you play as Detective Viscay in Dragon City who is killed during an investigation and he then wakes up in his bed in the morning of the same day. So basically it's cyberpunk meets Groundhog Day. Rita, I'm reliving the same day over and over. Groundhog Day, today. While the story and dialogue may be a little corny at times, the very fast melee and gory combat makes up for all that. And like Cyberpunk, it had a bit of a rocky start. But the game now is in a very good state and is also available on all platforms. And number three is Ruiner, an ultraviolet twin stick action shooter set in 2091 in the cyberpunk metropolis of Rangkok. Uh, you wake up wearing a mask, being told by a mysterious hacker that you have to kill a lot of people in order to rescue your kidnapped brother. Between the combat, the art style, and the amazing soundtrack of this game, it is one of the best cyberpunk games you can play and I can't recommend it high enough. I will say though that the difficulty can be a little daunting at first, but if you just stick with it, study your enemies, when you finally get past that tough level, there's no better feeling. And number two is Ghost Runner, a fast paced first person hack and slash platformer where you play as Jack, a ghost runner that must dash, jump, wall run, grapple, and slash his katana through waves of enemies to free the architect to regain his memory. If you love dying to enemies from one shot, all enemies, and games that get more difficult by each level to the point where it makes you want to break all your shit, then this is the game for you. And with the recent release of Project Hell, you can put yourself through that shit all over again. All jokes aside though, I absolutely love this game. So much fun and I cannot recommend it enough. And at number one is Deus Ex. While you could put any of the Deus Ex games here, I am specifically referring to Human Revolution and Mankind Divided. Deus Ex is an action RPG where you play as Adam Jensen, an operative with an impressive array of advanced augmentations working for the hacker group Juggernaut Collective while trying to expose the Illuminati during an era of mechanical apartheid. While the boss battles in this game leave a lot to be desired, the story, look, gameplay, and RPG elements are so amazing that one could argue it even out Cyberpunk's Cyberpunk 2077. And I was very pleased to hear recently that the studio would love to return to Deus Ex and quote, want to do what Cyberpunk 2077 couldn't do. Me! And personally, I would love to play that game, so hopefully they do it here in the near future. So that's my top five best cyberpunk games to play after Cyberpunk 2077. Was there any that I missed that you think were better and that should have been on the list? Let me know down in the comments section below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the future.